You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. It's Thursday, the 26th of day of February 2015. I'm Alex Jones, your host. Another incredibly jam-packed transmission lined up for you as the world accelerates into destabilization by design. Saudi Arabia says it might help Israel attack Iranian nuclear sites. Unbelievable headline. It's official. NSA spying is hurting the U.S. tech economy. That's a ZDNet News. Former FBI assistant director says to help keep budgets high, we must, quote, keep fear alive. The comments come one hour, six minutes into the video. Full body transplants will be possible within two years. This is controversial surgeon. Obama tells ICE officers, that's Border Patrol, consequences for ICE officials who don't follow executive amnesty. You follow my illegal orders not to stop drunk drivers, to let illegals go free, let them be above the law, or I will have your butt fired and I will grab your pension. So you can't sit there, because I see people on these videos bashing the Border Patrol. Well, why don't you do your job? Why don't you arrest some people? Why don't you? They've been ordered to stand down. Now, quite frankly, they're complicit when they follow the orders and are somewhat guilty. But in the scheme of being guilty, Obama and the globalists are 100%. They're about 5% guilty. We're more guilty than the Border Patrol. They have their jobs. They have their pensions. They have their lives. They have risked their lives in what, quite frankly, is a hellish job. And now we just sit here mad that they're not doing their job and they've been ordered to. We're letting the traitor in chief carry out this North American Union plan. See, I'm already ranting. It's just that I guess as you get older, you just realize that it's easy to sit around and blame people. And, and folks always love to seem to blame the low-level people. Because then, you know, it's politically correct and nobody gets mad at you. Instead of blaming ourselves and blaming the people at the top of the pyramid who are really guilty. I'm just going to say that again. They're saying brace for imminent terror attack any minute. The shopping malls aren't safe to go to. You know, Jay Johnson says... On Face the Nation, is it safe to go to the Mall of America? You need to be very concerned. You need to watch out. You need to be really careful. What? I mean, statistically, let's say you work at the Mall of America, and there was a terror attack. What, one out of 500 you're going to get shot? There's a better chance you're going to die in a car wreck this year than that if you work there. Then, what, maybe one out of 500 chances there's going to be a terror attack? You add those two together, and I'm just throwing out numbers here as an example. It's not scientific. Very low probability. You got a better chance of a deer jumping out in front of your car and coming through the windshield and killing you. I think it's like 260-something people in the World Almanac, last time I read it, I think in 2013, died of deer. Are we having checkpoints for the phantom deer? Are we having TSA out there to... You know, have checkpoints to stop the deer from jumping in front of us? No. There's a sign. They put a sign up when they've had a bunch of wrecks. That's how that's chosen in most states. They put them on deer trails. And they say, hey, look out for elk. Look out for moose. Look out for whitetail. Look out for mule. Look out for children. If it's in a city, at a crosswalk. You know, I mean, there's no way to keep you completely safe. And I know our listeners know that. But the globalists putting out this idea that we're doing all this to keep you safe is a load of bull. Our borders are only there to stop cowboys shipping drugs in that the big banks aren't actually bringing in themselves. That's it. But if you're an illegal, they're there and they're wide open. And that's just not fair. I mean, you get arrested in Mexico if you're an illegal, but not here. More and more. They... I'm digressing. Socialist architect behind FCC's net neutrality says let's eliminate capitalist propaganda. Well, the latest on that big fight. Huge news on the GMO front. Huge news on the FBI saying ISIS is in all 50 states. It's all coming up. Stay with us. Back to the UK and questioned. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Alex Jones here live. In almost every case, the leadership of Al Qaeda, ISIS, Boko Haram, 
all these different groups, are British intelligence. Time and time again, I had the former top Justice Department official over counterterrorism on Loftus, John Loftus, about five years ago, because I saw him on Fox News, we played the clip, exposing that the leader of the 7-7 bombings in London of the subway and the bus, remember that? In 2005, it came out in documents, was MI6, their CIA, and was being protected going in and out of the country. And it's the same story over and over again. Remember they caught British SAS uh, Special Forces? What our Delta Force is modeled after? Dressed up like Wahhabists, attacking Shiite shrines. Uh, in 2006 in Iraq, it was even in the London Guardian. And when the Iraqi police, that our military trained and British military trained, you know, the good guys supposedly, arrested them, took their mask and beards off, all their weapons that they had, and put it on television, released the photos, they had a whole bunch of tanks and the British Army attack the barracks and the police station, blow it up, kill a bunch of people. British troops got killed. I mean, there was film footage of British troops on fire on top tanks. It was a major skirmish to get them out of the jail and cover up their identities. I could go on for like five hours. It's just that so many times the people getting the Shiites and Sunnis to kill each other are Western intelligence. You got Adam Gadon, the grandson of the former head of the Anti-Defamation League, arrested repeatedly in California going to mosque and beating up Muslims. That's how much he hated Muslims. Joining Al-Qaeda, growing a beard, and becoming number two, some argue number one. Adam Gadon, former name Perlman, leading Al-Qaeda. I mean, who believes that Al-Qaeda is going to follow a Jew? It's totally fake. Are there real jihadis? Are there real Wahhabist terror groups being funded by Saudi Arabia to invade Syria and other areas? Absolutely. But the, when you see, even Fox News had to come out and say, you know, this is fake video. The State Department went, yeah, it is. Two weeks ago of the, uh, them walking the people to be executed by the beach, and they're seven foot five or whatever. Every one of the Al-Qaeda people is, is over seven feet tall. It's just manipulated. I mean, we could make videos like this. I could look at the beheadings and the mass burnings and tell you as a video person that's worked with for 22 years and who we got green screens, you know, we do some fun pieces around here, but it's obviously fake when I'm up there in a blue throne as Cobra Commander, but it looks like I'm at the White House in a throne. I mean, it would fool a child. You can see that it's fake, though. The eye picks it up. These are all green screened, boys and girls. They were made in some Hollywood lot. Now, separately, you got thousands of Christians getting killed every month, churches getting blown up everywhere. That'll be in a military news website. That'll be in a foreign news site. That'll be in a local site. That'll be in foreign papers. But the real stuff, and let me tell you, we've, we've played the videos of Christians being taken to the top of an eight-story building and thrown off one after another and they censor our YouTube account. The news and everybody else is allowed to put out the beheadings and the burnings, but we show you real stuff, real stuff, and it's shut down, okay? So there's plenty of real radical jihadi garbage. There's plenty of real footage of them killing people, and they are killing people, mainly Christians, and Alawite Muslims and other minority groups and Kurds. But that's not what's being shown here in the United States, and it's part of a propaganda operation. Last night, in fact, guys, see if you can find it. It showed a new ISIS, the Women of ISIS video. I was, I was watching, I think, CNN, they showed a clip of it. And it looked like they were wearing designer Versace, and it was like beautiful women, and it was how the beautiful women of the West are going and joining it. This is meant to purely make everybody get jealous and go, how dare them be getting our Kate Upton lookalikes? How dare them be getting our women? We got to get over there and blow them up. And then it will be Syria that's attacked and Assad that's taken down and the very jihadis we claim we're fighting that are put in power. And notice that's all being announced on the news now. I saw McCain yesterday.
calling for attacking Russia, basically, and comparing them to the Nazis. And then later, when I went to the full tape of it, they were talking about, we've got to go and take Assad out because Assad has created the vacuum that's allowed Al-Qaeda and ISIS to be there when the West started the whole thing. But when they know the public is politically and geopolitically and economically illiterate, and the public on average is illiterate when it comes to how the world works. They know about the football scores. They know about what Babe Ruth hit in 1931. Uh, they know how to act cool. They know how to jack their trucks up. They know how to get the